You're listening to MIP Talk Minutes. This is an excerpt from the Innovation and Humanity Summit 2010 Special Edition. For the most part, business is business around the world. And what we see when we travel and do business in other places are the things that are different. So we end up focusing on them more. And we should, because when you're used to a particular context, you need to be very sensitive to other contexts. You need to You'd be looking for the unsaid things. You need to be looking underneath the surface to understand so that you don't make uh, in, not only improper statements but significant missteps. But the fundamentals of business are fairly similar around the world, especially after countries and regions start to enter and then become regular players in the global capitalist system. But beyond that, the differences from my experience, have a lot to do with the culture, the way that people communicate, and these manifest in many different ways. For instance, in many parts of the world, hierarchy is a much more significant issue than it is uh, typically in the United States and even many parts of Europe. If I'm in Scandinavia, for instance, in Denmark, or also in the Netherlands, people are very willing to say what they think to uh, express their opinion. There's a lot of this notion of managing by consensus compared to some other countries. In mainland China, there's a significant respect for seniority and respect for hierarchy, and, uh, and to the point that sometimes it stands in the way. And I've seen a number of examples of companies that have gone through this evolution when building a mainland China, especially R&D operation or innovation group, where you require new ideas, you require people to push back, to share their perspective, and you require multiple perspectives. So having a top-down managed hierarchical system doesn't really work. And so it's an evolution. Some companies are starting to do it quite well. There are very, very talented people in mainland China with excellent engineering and science technology backgrounds, but it's taking that capability, that knowledge set, and converting it in a culture, in a place where people feel like they have the ability and the authority to not only speak up, but also to be heard. That's a transition. At the same time, there are certainly a lot of things that we can learn in the United States from how business is done in other parts of the world. To download this complete interview, please visit miptalk.com. That's M-I-P-T-A-L-K dot com.